Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke. Praise the Lord. We're at chapter 2, verses 36 to 38. We're just going through verse by verse and getting now the early pages here of the story of Jesus in this Gospel. Let's read these three verses. Now, there was one, Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age and had lived with a husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And coming in that instant, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. So we just had Simeon yesterday morning who was being led by the Holy Spirit, an aged person, but God is showing the Messiah to him. And now we have Anna, another aged person, 84 years old. There's some business here I'm not going to try to uh, explain here in this short space of a four-minute video. But what I'm interested in here is this woman who served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And when she came in, she immediately gave thanks to the Lord. There was somehow she was shown by God that this, again, this was the Messiah. So we have Simeon, the a male person. And now we have Anna, a actually biologically female person, and they both see Jesus and they both give, uh, give thanks for it. And so she spoke of him, it says in verse 38, to all who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. You know, there must have been a lot of people in Jerusalem. Things weren't going that well in Jerusalem. And so morally things were in decline. And so here was a woman who was out there talking, 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 and sometimes you and I have opportunities to tell the story of what Jesus has done, is doing, and promises he will do for us. And so we should be using this and telling, telling that story. Uh, not wearing people out, not, not uh, we don't wrestle people to the ground and force them to hear this story, but as God opens the way, then there's some opportunity to tell the story of Jesus. And so I like Anna, serving God, fasting, praying, uh, even into her old age. She didn't just retire and just sit down and then rust out. She's there and she gets to see Jesus. And now she goes around when she's done seeing him, she goes and talks to everybody about it. The Messiah is come. And maybe they just thought, oh, she's, she's like in her 80s. You know, we can't pay any attention to her. But guess what? She was prophetically current. And a lot of people are not prophetically current. So I don't care what age we are. Let's just be in the Bible and let's, let's try to be prophetically current. I think God will help. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Anna, a servant of you in her, in her aged years also. And yet in your mercies, she gets to see the baby, the infant baby Messiah, and immediately gives thanks to you. Lord, she does not just sit down and, and uh, consign herself to doing nothing, but she goes and tells everybody that she knows that's seeking redemption in Jerusalem about this wonderful thing. All these ages have gone by, all these centuries, even thousands of years have gone by, and now Jesus is here. Oh, Lord, I, I would like to hear those things that she said. Perhaps she can tell me in a few short years when we're all in the kingdom, and she can tell us who want to hear it, the story of how she went from this, this event and told others about you. Oh, Lord, bless us, build us, and use us in your kingdom. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. May we follow the example of Anna, who, when she knew what was what, told people about Jesus, not obnoxiously, but with grace. Friend, God bless you and be with you today, and be your leader today.